As calls within the KMT grow louder to replace KMT presidential candidate Hong Shoujiu with another presidential contender, KMT Secretary General Li Sichuan today offered Hong a public apology. There's speculation that if she receives insufficient support from the party congress, Hong will bow out of the presidential race. KMT Chairman Eric Zhu also revealed he would give a full explanation at the upcoming party congress. As sympathy for Hong is growing within the KMT, KMT Secretary General Li Sichuan for the first time publicly offered Hong an apology. To tell the truth, we're not fair to Legislative Deputy Speaker Hong, and we're also not fair to her supporters. She must have many grievances, but the situation is that our election campaign is not going well. That is another reality. I absolutely represent the entire party when I offer my apologies. I apologize to Hong Shou Chu. The KMT hopes to convene a party congress as soon as possible on October 17th. Before this, KMT Chairman Zhu hopes to have an opportunity to communicate with Hong Xiao Zhu. Actually, we hope to contact Legislative Deputy Speaker Hong in coming days. That includes myself and the Secretary General. Perhaps Hong will also calm down. She is currently our party's presidential candidate and is also an important comrade in the party. She must, of course, attend the party congress. In the next few days, I'll ask my aides to contact her aides. Regardless if it is the party chairman or myself, if Hong has time, we will meet with her and offer an apology. We'll also ask her about her plans. She cannot be absent from the 2016 presidential battle. There are hopes that if Hong is not the presidential candidate, she will still assist with the presidential campaign. The KMT is planning to use the party congress to remove Hung and to unite the KMT. But the question on everyone's mind is will Hung accept such an arrangement?